Now, if I told you you could get this solar brolly system for just over 200 quid, I think you'd be quite impressed. And guess what? You can. So let's jump into the video and find out the five things you need to know about the solar undercover camo brolly system. So like I said in the intro, you can actually get one of these for just over 200 quid. The cheapest I found online this morning was 210 pounds. So it's a bit of a bargain and I'll tell you why. But if you don't want to pay 210 pounds, then you can actually win one of these. This is up for grabs. So if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll tell you exactly how you can go about trying to win one. But what do you get for your 210 quid? So as I said, it is a complete brolly system. So it's not just a brolly, you do get everything that you see here. You don't have to buy any extras whatsoever. So you've got your full infill panel and you've got various door options with that. You get storm poles with it, obviously to prop up the sides to give it that nice rigidity to it. There's various other little poles that I will come on to a full setup towards the end of the video, but you've got various poles to keep everything in shape and to keep it nice and safe and secure. So yeah like i say it's a full setup for 210 quid so let's move on to the materials next because you might have noticed already it's a really nice camo pattern now moving on to the material it's kind of everything you want it to be if you like camo that is if you don't like camo then maybe it's not the one for you but it's a really nice pattern it's well broken up it's made from a multitude of different tones of green and also some black thrown in there for good measure as well so yeah it really is a nice camo pattern like I say if you're a fan of camo and it's also a decent material it's not just a pattern that looks good it's a 10,000 millimeter hydrostatic head so it's going to keep you nice and dry but it's also quite lightweight and quite breathable so you're not going to get too sweaty in the height of summer it's going to keep you dry enough so it's a it's the perfect combination really and then that brings us on to the weight being a lightweight material and obviously being a brolly system there's not that much to it in terms of poles and ribs and everything like that so it actually only weighs seven kilo so if you're looking for a lightweight shelter then this is this is the one for you obviously you can bring that weight down as well because you can take the front completely off so if you don't want to take that with you if you are just doing quick overnighters or if you even just want a shelter for the day to keep the sun off you then you don't need that front panel with you at all and then that will save you a little bit of weight but to be seven kilos with everything that's included it's a good starting point. So like I say, this front can be completely removed. So let's get rid of it and let's have a look how much space is inside. There's a couple of handy little bits of Velcro either side. So that means that your zip won't undo by accident. So it really helps to keep the front on, especially in bad weather. But it's simply a case of unzipping it all the way, tossing that aside and then that shows you how much space is inside. So obviously this is quite a big bed shed. It's not a wide boy or anything like that, but they're still quite bulky items. And I've still got quite a bit of coverage in front of me, enough space for my rucksack there, water bottle. You could even easily have a bait bag, cool box, something like that the other side. So you've got enough room. There's a little bit of room behind the bed chair as well because because of the design, it doesn't go completely to the back. So you could easily have a few little extras, non-essentials behind you. and. Obviously you have got the main hub of the brolly, but that's nice and discreet. It's quite a flat design, so it's not obtrusive in any way. You can easily sit here, look out, and got to go quite a way back to actually touch the hub in the middle. So yeah, there's no issues when it comes to headroom or anything like that. It's quite a nice wide open front that you can probably see from that camera. So there's not loads of room, but there's enough. You don't need loads of room. It's a brolly, it's not meant for really long sessions so you could easily do a couple of nights in something like this and have more than enough room but hopefully that gives you a bit of a gauge but in terms of actual dimensions we're looking at 264 centimeters wide by 150 by 150 so if dimensions is uh, more your thing then there you go but in terms of actual practicality as you can see I've got my bed chair easily enough room for a couple of bags and then a bit of space behind as well <music> So we then move on to the extra little features that you get with this brolly system. Obviously you get rod retaining straps. You get that on basically every bivy brolly shelter on the market. But the nice thing with this one is that they're actually on the flat edge. So it might not sound a lot, but it means it just works like it should do. So many brollies and bivvies have it on the top and then you've got to awkwardly try and wrap it around your rod. 
With that being on the flat profile, it means that it just Velcros in place how it should do. Another feature to mention is gonna be this rain gutter that runs all the way along the front of the peak. Now, this is really beneficial. I'm sure you guys know why, why it's beneficial, but in case you don't, obviously it means that the rain will run down the sides of the brolly instead of coming straight down the middle. And that's actually helped, like I say, it's on the end of a, a peak, which not all brolly systems will have a peak. So to have it a bit further out and then coming down the sides, it means it is gonna keep you as dry as a brolly system can do. The main feature though that I really like are these vents at the back, they are huge. So you'll see there's a zip running down the middle might not be the best swim to demonstrate this in because uh, it's quite overgrown. But yeah, the zip runs down the middle, so you don't have to have both sides open. You can have just one side open. But if I unzip this, you will see that it goes from pretty much the bottom of the brolly all the way up to around where the uh, central point is. So this is all, as you'd expect, velcroed in place. But by the time you've got both of these open, you have got so much airflow, which really is beneficial on a hot, sticky summer's night. So moving on to the setup process, there's a few bits that you need. Obviously the brolly being one of them. I've got six heavy duty pegs. That's more than enough when it comes to not having the front on, which is how I'm gonna display it, just to make things nice and easy. Uh, you've got two storm poles, and then there's a few other little poles as well. So these two smaller poles will go into the back corners. I'll show you that in a second. And then you've got this pole here, which connects together like so. And this is what helps to give the shape of the peak and keeps the peak nice and strong. So let's get all of these out of the way because the main thing you want to see is the brolly itself going up. And that's nice and simple. There's a little retaining strap which comes in the kit which is quite handy just to keep everything together and then it's a case of setting it up as you set up any other brolly just by pushing the middle out like so and then this central pole can unscrew and then at the end of this pole you've actually got a little blanking off cap which is what will go onto there to make it a little bit safer for you. I'm not gonna bother doing that now because you all know what that does. But I found the easiest way to actually set this up once you've got it to this point, obviously put the storm poles in place. So these screw in either side. Got a little screw thread there. And then get the other one in. Just in this corner here. That just screws into there. And then you've got a rough shape of the brolly. I then found it was best to get a few pegs in. So I'm not gonna show you getting each, each individual peg in. I'm gonna get this done and then we cut to the next point. Then when you've got the pegs in, you can start to extend the storm poles. Obviously you've got a little flap here. which will then just hold against the storm pole. And do that both sides. Like so, and then like I say, you've got these two small poles which go on the inside corners. And there's a couple of little pockets for them to go into. And they Velcro in place to stop them coming out. And then there's just a pole that goes across to fit the peak in. So this simply slots into a little section coming off the storm pole. And then there's a little clip in the middle at the top here, which then holds that in place. So there you go, a pretty simple process. Doesn't take more than a couple of minutes. And each time you do it, obviously you'll get that little bit quicker doing it as well. But this is only the second time I've set this up. If you want to put the front on, then you can do. Generally, it's easier to put the front on before you've tightened everything up. And to be honest, it will do a better job of getting it looking perfectly because you've got the front as a gauge to actually how far you open either side and it will work a lot nicer. Even if you then take the front off afterwards, it just uh, gets you in better stead for the start of your session. So there you go. What do you guys think of the Solar Undercover Camo Broly System? 
Personally, I really like it. It's a nice lightweight brolly, which is ideal obviously coming into the summer months. But I did say at the start of this video that you guys can be in with a chance of winning this. All you've got to do to enter is subscribe to Carpology, subscribe to Solar, both on YouTube, and then put a comment in below this video saying what it is you like about this brolly, what your favorite feature is. So for now, thanks for watching. See you in the next video and good luck with the competition. I don't know if you can pick him up, but my little Robin friend's come in here. Are you coming over? Come on. Not gonna work, is it? Nope, story of my life.